we're here in the shop and um, Robert is working with some three quarter inch galvanized pipe. He's making a clothes hanging um, feature for his cabin. I'll show you more about that later. We've cut this pipe to length and when you buy a full length um, you get threaded threaded ends on, on both ends. But of course we've cut it so now there's not a threaded end there and, and we need a threaded end and we're going to make that thread using this die. This is a hand tool that cuts threads in pipe. We have one size for three quarter inch pipe and another die for one inch pipe and that's what we're going to show you here. So we start by threading the die onto the end of the unthreaded pipe. The, the teeth that you see inside just kind of uh, the teeth uh, start to cut their own threads in the pipe and that's what we're going to begin with now. So just put it on there Robert. Now to get it putting, you're putting some weight on it there. Yeah. Okay. To get it started he's using his left hand to put some side pressure on while he's working that die. Has it got a bite there Robert? It's starting to. Yeah, the pipe's starting to turn now. So I guess that means so, it's time for the pipe wrench. So what we have to do, because we don't have an official pipe threading machine uh, or a, a pipe vise, we just put it in this regular Super Jaws type thing and then we put a we put a pipe wrench on it and I'm going to be holding onto this pipe wrench resisting the turning force that Robert's putting on. Now, before he gets going too far, he's going to oil this. It's, it's biting now. And, you know, these, these cutters do a lot of work. Um, so they need to be lubricated. This is special cutting oil. Um, it's got sulfur in it, which lubricates the cut as it's happening. So there you go. Right, can you just stop for a second there, Ron? So if you look in here, you'll see you'll see that uh, there's some curls of metal. Uh, there's lots of them here on the ground too. That's the die cutting the threads. And we're almost as far as we need to go. Um, the pipe should come to the, the edge of the teeth that are cutting the threads here. And then, and then it's long enough. So uh, why don't you give another shot of oil, Robert, and then we'll just finish that up. Are we far enough? Just about far enough, yeah. Okay. You so gonna give it another shot or is it done? Yeah, I think it's done. Okay. So I'm gonna reverse the direction of cutting here just to cut the loose curls of metal off at the base of where the threads start. And I've done that now, so I'm gonna give it a little push. And now the curls are cut off. So just and now I can just untwist it by hand to take the tool off. And there you go. Threads uh, ready to ready to install in an elbow, which is part of this clothes hanging rack system that we'll show you later.